Open up the packages. Alrighty. Let's get them out of their pathetic plastic pouches. We should design pouches with meat goes in. I meat have a, packaging a, design. A few slick things to say, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think of like more articulate ways to de to describe my meals. Been on this shit twice, and I just describe shit as fucking delicious. Here we go. Yeah. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> I gotta read more books. Oh, is this again? That's the oyster mushroom po' boy. Can I give it a shot? Please, can you? Feel good about that? Delicious. Are there any beverages here? Yup, there's apple juice right there. Martinelli's in the fridge. The Martinelli's was only for him, dog. I enjoy that a lot. I was like, so who's a special guest today? You, man. Oh shit, yeah. really? Oh. <laughs> Word, huh? So I'm making Latin meatballs. I think it's like 15% of humans that can't taste cilantro. Or it tastes like soap or, or something. It tastes like, like soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel bad for them because yeah, it's really too. good. It's fucking delicious. You should do something inspired by cilantro. You know what I want to do? I still want to do an olive oil. I'm going to do an olive oil that comes with the shoe. We still need to do a chef shoe. Can you do that like fast chop? Oh, yeah, 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 it's easy. You got a carrot somewhere? Can we use a pepper? Yeah, give me a pepper. More like that. Woo! Wow. Oh, it's knuckle. It's a knuckle sandwich. Yeah. I just want to get this all incorporated and make this one thing. Cilantro onion thing. Oh, no, do your thing, man. I'm taking video. Gosh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> If I could just stand here with my legs crossed with one hand and do this, I feel good about it. Meditative position. It really is. When I was in Japan, I got one of these knives with like this forged steel. It was all swiggly. Damascus steel. They pound many steels together to get that wavy pattern. You know some shit fucking they're trying to sell me a mansion in Okinawa for 18 grand. But why? Why that? I don't know. On the beach too. Yo, this designer I know, the word on the street is that he sold the rights to his name for $2 million and a home in Japan. $2 million and a home in Japan? Yeah. Must have not have been like, I don't know. I can't even come up with something slick to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I've never seen you be stumped before. I'm stumped. <laughs> I'm so stumped that like, why two million? That was all mm -hmm. he's worth. It's a strange deal though. When presented with a deal, sometimes we gotta take it. Mm -hmm. Need help making the like the meatballs or something? Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, should I wash my hands? Nah, leave it like that. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead. This might be the deepest sink I've ever encountered. I'm in the bottom, look. <laughs> yeah, that's where you can make your fucking pottery. It's a yeah, pottery right. sink. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. This is this is the fit. I am hot, but we're on the internet, you know, so I gotta keep my fit on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's talk Victor Wimbenyama. I don't like him. Why don't you like him? I don't not like him as a man. I just think that you know, whenever I see guys that toy, look doofy. But I'm sure I look like a schmuck to him because I'm <laughs> short like this. Yeah, the picture of you two would be exactly. wild. Exactly, be wild. You should make a remake of My Giant <laughs> <laughs> with George Murison. Go two eggs. Those are beautiful yolks. Hella black pepper. This is a Colombian meatball, man. This is only Colombian because this is what goes down in my household, which houses Colombian people. <laughs> which homes. <laughs> you know what I mean. My family. Yeah, yeah. Cilantro, mm -hmm. onions, a beautiful pepper. We like to make it flavorful, you know? What is that? It's a potato bun. I know, watch. Oh, that's like your breadcrumbs? It's like the breadcrumbs. Add a touch more salt just to make sure. Because mm -hmm. you don't want that shit to absorb just water flavor. That's just the first mix, just to get it cute. We're looking good from all angles. You gotta get your hand into it, you know? You gotta get nice and into it. Because look at that. Underneath, that's where all the treasure lies. Can you actually uh, put some olive oil on this for me? Perfect. You hear that sound? That's the sound you want to hear. You want to get a before shot of this meat? It's a crazy question, right? And then little by little, I'm gonna add them into there. One by one, two by two. Oh, you make the ball with the spoon. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit of a loose look. Kind of use the bowl to scrape it. You're not going for perfection. Ugly shit is beautiful too. When you're too perfect, it sucks. Like Fabio sucks, but he's been known as like one of the top models forever. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> What do you call that water bread technique? Not really sure. It's genius. It's usually done with really good bread and milk, not shitty potato roll and faucet water. Can you make a donut one? Yeah. This is education for me. It's actually an interesting shape to use, you know? Mm -hmm. This is like meditative time. Zen, you chill. You got your Miles playing, you know? You got your Jimmy playing. Turn one side so you could get that perfect shape. Looking good, guys.
Thank you to Hexclad, official cookware sponsor of the in-studio show. If you want to make that kitchen legit and support our show, go to hexclad.com slash in-studio. That is hexclad.com forward slash in-studio for 10% off your next purchase. We could still make other meatballs. Turkish one. Turkish. I need that. I need this. I want that. We're looking hella good right now. This is for the raw ones. Word. Nah, fuck you. Sure. You didn't even bat an eye. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I... yes, that sounds, sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> the meatball donut is kind of fucking next level. Because it's getting the flavor like up in it and out. This is giving it maximum crunch. Mm -hmm. I like this unexpected kitchen assistant. I thought I was just coming in like, see, like chill. Uh, you are chilling. This is chilling. But, yeah, this is chilling. You're right. You're right. This is chilling. You're really chilling is what you're doing. Some people chill, but what you're really doing is chilling. Mm -hmm. You don't do the paper towel thing? Nah, because it's in olive oil. I don't want to get that garbage off it. I want all this beautiful, delicious olive oil to stay on it. Do you have that extra skin on your hands where I you do. can't get burned? I get burned, but not too hot. I recover quickly. I have a uh, Wolverine exoskeleton. It's all about being gentle into the oil. If you treat the oil bad, it's gonna hit you. That wasn't so bad. I thought that was gonna go a lot worse than I did. <laughs> Can I flip? Not yet. Not yet. You don't want to turn them until they got maximum crunch. Mm. You want to let it build that base, yeah. I just pray my back looks jacked. <laughs> then we pray every day, every day, every day. You got to pray just to make it. Hey, we've got to pray, pray down with the king of things. I'm throwing ten of them. I'm making men of them. I went to John Jay University. I acquired the knowledge. And after high school, I went straight to college. Silk chilies, make it nice and spicy. Urfa. What is Urfa? It's a type of pepper. It's very, like, hydrated. It's like a dried, very deep Mediterranean vibe. Oh, see that crunch that it's just built? That's why we leave it. And, of course, the king, queen, jack, rook, whatever of everything in life. These motherfucking sun-dried red peppers from the Bronx. Albondangi digas. Albondan. Albondangi digas. Al. How you say it? Albondigas. Albondigas. Remember screensavers? That'd be a great screensaver. Just your hands and the meat. <laughs> this is stray lamb. Stray lamb found on the side of the road in Morocco. Meatballs in the style of Popoyan, Colombia. Can I dip it in anything? A Great. touch of salt. Boom. Wow. Those are pretty fucking tender, right? Yeah. For just being. Okay, they're awesome. You know what I'm gonna set up? I'm gonna set up a little salt plate. A little bit of that. Urfa pepper. A little bit of that. Silk chili. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just wanna make sure it's right. It was a show. Where? Throw it all in the fucking air. Now we're gonna go with some lamb meatballs. I think the olive oil does something to it when you add it into the meat. It kind of treats it as dairy. As a shoe designer, you know the materials. Is that almost like ingredients? Well, with some shoes, it's like function. My dream was to become a floor designer to see someone slam dunk in that shit. I really just wanted to see someone be like, in my shoe, and that hasn't happened yet. Like, no you know, one is slam dunked? No, dude. That seems pretty fucking unbelievable to me. I just want to see that elevation. These are gonna be really good too. The lamb is crisping up beautifully. This is lamb? This is lamb. I've never had lamb in my life before. What? I thought this was beef this whole time. That's beef. This is lamb. Oh, okay, okay. Did we film you having lamb chops? Was that in Paris? Check the footage. Oh, this is dry and lamb. We've smoked him inside on Thursday. You ate that lamb at 2 p.m. <laughs> you ate that lamb at 2 19 p.m. I kind of don't fully remember the experience. I That's remember why like, we film it. It's so ill. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's a usually memory. you live it and then you film it and yeah. you watch it back. And you just always have these like these silent warriors that are just capturing the moments at all times. You know who I want to have on next? The Trend Twins. They're two juice head dudes yeah. that fucking take mad trend and do videos online. Like, bro, fuck more protein. Yo, there's this guy I love, Rick the Lawnmower Man. He just mows people's lawn. Oh, yeah, I saw that. He's a man. They'll Good be like cra crazy yeah, overgrown. The and then he has like free mow Fridays where he just goes up to people's houses with overgrown lawn and he fucking mows them. I like when he does the edge when he's really exposed yeah. to the curb. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's, 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 yeah. that's my yeah, favorite yeah, yeah. shit. Hitting the curb is my shit. What's that for? I'm going to hit some lab 
in there. So you could dip some of the lamb meatballs in there. You ever been on the Today Show? I've done fucking Rachel Ray today, uh -huh. Drew Barrymore, fucking David Letterman. You did David Letterman? Yeah, the last show, Me and Chance. You did the last show? I performed. Oh, wow. Baby Blue. Wow. How about that? How about that? Catch Me Outside. That's like an elite stir. Thank you, sir. Wow. I'm just trying to get it smooth. I can't stop. I won't stop. Bang. Ooh. We true soldiers. Nah, 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 nah. That's some good slow mo right there. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Got that wiggle wiggle. I got an idea. How about a mushroom dipping sauce? How's it taste with the soup? Fucking amazing. Yeah. Bring me that. Should have been doing this the whole time. Lamb is next level too. Yeah. And that concludes today's meatballs from all over the place. I learned things today. Salehi, you're a great man. Thank you. You for cook me. fucking so good, man. You wanna make a to-go plate? I think I would like to make a to-go plate. I would love a potato bun if you have another one of those. Meatballs and potato bun is where it's at. The potato bread family are probably really rich. Yeah. <laughs>